they're you know frenemies in many respects. I mean, you've now you've now seen an environment where Nvidia has kind of really transformed itself in their Blackwell offering to be more of a you know hardware oriented offering where they essentially kind of um, you know create the entire or design the entire you know rack. And as a result, you know, most of these companies are, or more companies across the ecosystem are really kind of levered and tethered to um, NVIDIA themselves. But when you think about a company like AMD versus NVIDIA, um, you know, they're, 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 AMD's, we think, going to have a potential blockbuster year in 2026 as they ramp up their, you know, their uh, rackable systems business. You've got, um, you know, Broadcom, which is probably you know, the, the closest alternative right now to NVIDIA, but they also sell into NVIDIA in terms of their connectivity chips. So maybe to answer your question, these companies are both, and it does uh, depend on who we're talking about. For But for the most part, as far as the AI ecosystem uh, goes, uh, NVIDIA continues to be the most important component there. And, you know, not far off from that, I'd say, you know, Broadcom is a, uh, you know, a second uh, level to them.